Hello, grade seven. Um, this is our first video in semester four. In this video, I'm going to explain a new lesson, which is chapter 16. It's about, uh, actually in this lesson, you take two important things, expanding and factorizing. But in this video, I'm going only to explain expanding. Hopefully next week, we are going to start by factorizing, okay? But before we start, let us talk about the objectives of our uh, chapter. Uh, first, we are going to do, remember together how do we multiply monomials and how do we add uh, monomials. Then we are going to learn how to develop or expand an algebraic expression. So the word develop is the same as the word expand. Let us remember together that a monomial it's a term that has a sign, it has a coefficient, and it has a variable. For example, 3x, this is a term, the sign is positive, the coefficient is 3, and the variable is x, and the exponent of the variable is 1. Minus 2y, the sign is negative, the coefficient is 2, the variable is y, and the exponent is 1. 5x to the power 2, the sign is positive, 5 is the coefficient, x is the variable, and the exponent is 2. Minus 3xy squared z cubed, the sign is negative, the coefficient is 3, the variable is x, y, z, the, the exponent of x is 1, the exponent of y is 2, and the exponent of z is 3. Now, whenever you want to multiply two monomials, you have to multiply the signs together. So if you have plus and plus, the multiplication is plus. Plus minus is minus. Minus minus is plus. So first of all, you multiply the signs. Then you multiply the coefficients together. Then you multiply the variables together. But if you have the same variable, you keep only one and you add the exponents. For example, if you have 3x squared y times minus 2x cubed y squared. First of all, let us multiply the signs. So plus times minus is minus. Then let us multiply the coefficients. Uh, 3 times 2 is 6. Then let us multiply the variables. So I'm going to multiply the x by themselves and the y by themselves. x to the power 2 times x to the power 3 you know that you should add the exponent, so it's x to the power 5. y to the power 1 times y to the power 2 is y to the power of 3. Now, how can I add or subtract monomials? We can only add or subtract like terms, uh, only those that have same variables and same exponents. Or in another word, I can only add those that we call them like terms. So if I have like terms, I can add them. If not, uh, I, can, I keep them as they are. For example, if we have 4x and 2x, are they like terms? I don't look at the coefficients. I, I look at the variables. So I have the same variable with the same exponent, Yes, so I add the coefficients. So 4 plus 2 is 6x. Now, the second one, the variable in the first one is xy, and the variable in the second one is xy. Do they have the same exponents? Yes, x to the power 1 and y to the power 2. So I can subtract the coefficients, which is minus 4xy to the power of 2. In the third one, the variable in the first one is xy, and the variable in the second one is also xy, but they don't have the same exponent. So I can't add them, I just keep them as they are. Now we are going to learn what's the meaning of expanding or developing an algebraic expression. To develop or expand an algebraic expression is to get rid or remove the parentheses. And to remove the parentheses, we multiply all the factors inside the parentheses, what's before it. So we multiply everything inside the parentheses by what's before it. 
What's before it? It could be a sign. It could be a coefficient. It could be a variable. It could be monomial or binomial. So what, whatever you have before the factor or before the algebraic expression, you should multiply it by every so everything inside the parenthesis. So it could be a sign, it could be a coefficient, variable, monomial, or binomial. Starting from now on, I'm just going to give you examples to get the idea, okay? Rule number one. If what's before the parenthesis, it's a coefficient, or a variable, or a sign, look what you do. The first thing is you multiply m by a and then m by b. So m times a give us m a plus m times b give us m b. Okay? The second one is the same, but the only difference is that I have subtraction at the middle. So it gives us m a minus m b. Let us take an example. We have minus into 2x plus 5. That means I have to multiply the minus by everything inside the parenthesis, as you see. So first of all, I'm going to multiply the minus by 2x, and then I'm going to multiply the minus by 5. So we get minus 2x minus 5. A direct application, we have minus into 2 plus y squared. So I multiply the minus by everything inside the parenthesis. So I'm going to get minus 2 minus y squared. <coughs> More examples. Look at all of these and pay attention. Now we don't have a sign. We have a number, which is 3. The same concept. I'm going to multiply 3 by everything inside the parenthesis. So 3 times 4x it's 12x, and 3, 5, it's 15, and in the middle, we have plus. So it's going to be 12x plus 15. In the third one, we have minus 5, and I'm multiplying minus 5 by the whole uh, factor, okay, which is 2a plus 7. So I have to multiply first minus 5 by 2a, then minus 5 by 7. Minus 5 times 2a, it's minus 10a, and minus 5 times plus 7 is minus 14. Oh, so, excuse me, it's minus 35. So first of all, I multiply minus 5 by 2a, and then I multiply minus 5 by plus 7. So I got minus 10a minus 35. In the, in, uh, in the next example, inside the parentheses, I have three terms. So what? I multiply the minus 3 by every term. So first of all, I'm going to multiply minus 3 by 5, then minus 3 by 2a squared, then minus 3 by minus 4a. So it will give me minus 15 minus 6a squared plus 12a. Why plus? Because minus 3 times minus 4 is plus 12. And now, you have x squared. I'm multiplying x squared by 2x cubed. That's good. I multiply them. Because they have the same variable, I add the, the exponents. So it's going to be 2x to the power 5. But in the second one, I don't have the same variable. So I just multiply them and put them beside each other. So it's minus 3x squared y. So if I have the same variable, I add the exponent different variables, I just put them beside each other. Look at this example. We have x in the first term. So I'm just going at the exponent of the x and leave the y as it is. But when I multiply it with the second one, I'm going to add the exponents of x and I'm going to add the exponents of y, as you see. So it's minus 12 x to the power 4 y squared minus 3 x to the power 5 y cubed. Okay, also on the last one, if I'm going to multiply minus 5a cubed b squared by the first one, I'm going to multiply the coefficients together and the variables together 
And if I have the same variable, I'm, I'm going to add the exponent. So I'm going the first one to add the exponent of A. And the second one, I'm going to add the exponent of B. And the third one, I just keep them as they are. Okay, this is rule number one, is whenever I have only one thing before the parenthesis, it's either a sign, a coefficient, or a term. Now, rule number two, what if I have two factors multiplied by themselves? This is very important. That means you have first to multiply the first term by everything in the second term. So first of all, I'm going to multiply m by a and m by b. This is not everything. I have also to multiply n by the first term and n by the second term. So two terms, I take the first two factors. I take the first term and multiply it by every term in the second factor. Then I take the second term in the first factor and multiply it by everything inside the parentheses, okay? So m times a is ma, m times b is mb, n times a is ma, and n times b is nb. Okay, so you have to pay attention that whenever you take any term, you should multiply it by the, by the factor, by the second factor, all of it. And you have to pay attention when you multiply them, you should look if you have like terms. If you have like terms, you have to do them with each other. I will give you an example to make things clear for you. We have x minus 2 into x plus 3. So the first thing I'm going to do is to multiply x, which is the first term in the first factor, by all the terms in the second factor. So x times x is x squared. x times 3 is 3x. Minus 2 times x is minus 2x. And minus 2 times 3 is minus 6. After getting rid of the parentheses, we found that we have like terms, 3x and minus 2x. So I just add them together, and I'm going to get plus x. And don't forget to reduce them from those that have the highest exponent to the lowest exponent. As I arrange them here, I've started first by x squared, then by the next exponent, then by the coefficient or the constant by itself. Okay? Let us look at this example. What do we have to a squared minus 1 in a factor and a minus 5 as a factor? So I'm going to multiply 2a squared by the second factor and 1 by the second factor. So 2a squared times a is 2a to the power 3. 2a squared times minus 5 is minus 10a. Minus 1 times a is minus a. And minus 1 times minus 5 is plus 5, as you see. And I'm going to check. Do I have like terms? No. So I keep it as it is. OK? In the second one, we have 3y minus 4. 3y plus 4. Also, I'm going to multiply 3y by 3y and 3y by 4. Then minus 4 by 3y and minus 4 by plus 4. So it's going to give me this. And as you see, we have here like terms and they cross out each other plus 12y minus 12y. So they cross out each other. So what's left is 9y squared minus 16. Well, that's everything in our lesson about expanding. But the more you practice, the more you get the idea better. So I prepared for you some exercises to solve them together, okay? Five into a plus b. So as I told you, you have to multiply five by a and five by b. So you get five a plus five b. We have two a into one minus b. So first of all, I'm going to multiply two a by one, then two a by minus b. So it's two a minus two b. Minus three into two a plus four b, it's minus six a minus 12 b. And now look at this one. I have three into x plus y plus one. Okay, minus 2 into x minus 2y minus 3y plus 2. So 3 is multiplied by the first factor. 2 is multiplied by the second factor. So I have to expand each alone. I'm going to start by the first one. 
So 3 times x is 3x, three, 3 times y is 3y, three, 3 times 1 is 3. And now minus 2 times x is minus 2x, minus 2 times minus 2y is plus 4y, and minus 3y plus 2, it kept as it is. So as you see, we remove the brackets. After removing the brackets, you have to pay attention to find the like terms. So you can see that we have here 3x and minus 2x, they are like terms. 3y and 4y and minus 3y, they are like terms. Plus 3 and plus 2, that are the, co uh, the constants, they are also uh, like. So 3x minus 2x is x. 3y and minus 3y, they cancel each other, so what's left is 4y. And plus 3 plus 2 is plus 5, as you see. Okay, another example. We have 3 into x minus 1 minus 5 into x plus 2 plus 4x. So I'm going to multiply 3 by the first factor, 5 by the second factor. Okay, so this is the expanded uh, form and then we collect the like terms and reduce them together. So that's our final answer. Okay, let us continue. Here we have 2 plus a into b minus 5. So you have to multiply 2 by b and 2 by minus 5, then a by b and a by minus 5. So 2b minus 10 plus ab minus 5a. Do you have any like terms? No, so you keep it as it is. But in the second one, let us do it. 5 minus 2y into 5 minus 2y, okay? So I'm going to multiply 5 by 5 and 5 by 2y, minus 2y by 5 and minus 2y by minus 2y. So 5 times 5 is 25, 5 times minus 2y is minus 10y, minus 2y times 5 is minus 10y, and minus 2y times minus 2y is plus 4y squared. Do we have like terms? Yes, minus 10y and minus 10y are like terms, so I have to add them. So it's 25 minus 20y plus 4y squared. And don't forget what I told you. Deduce them or order them from the highest exponent till the constant. So you have to start by 4y squared, then minus 20y plus 25. This is called expanding and reducing. It's not only expanding, but it's reducing or to put them from the highest exponent to the constant, okay? Another example. So starting from now on, I'm just going to do examples for you to try to at least uh, put all the cases, okay? And now five, I'm going to multiply it by the whole factor, which is a plus b minus c. And minus three, I'm going to multiply it by the whole factor, which is a minus b minus c minus five. So we are going to get five a plus five b minus five c minus three a. So this minus, it's going to change the sign of the whole algebraic expression, okay? Or the whole factor, don't forget. So that's what I'm going to get. And now you have to collect the like terms. 5a minus 3a is 2a. 5b um, plus 3b is 8b. Minus 5c and plus 3c is minus 2c. And 15, it's alone. So that's our final answer. So don't forget, whenever you expand, to collect the like terms and redo them together, okay? Here, another example for the same concept. Here, 2c times c minus 3, it gives us 2c squared minus 6. Plus, and you have to expand also the rest, c uh, times c and c times 1, minus 4 times c and minus 4 times y is 1. So that's my answer. And we have like terms, 2c squared plus c, c, c squared is 3c squared. And don't forget to order them from the highest exponent to the constant. Here we have, then this is important. Also, I'm going to start by the first two factors and then by the second two factors.
The first two factors, I'm going to multiply the same concept, x by 2x and x by minus 1, minus 3 times 2x and minus 3 times minus 1. And here, 3x times 3x, 3x times 2, minus 2 times 3x and minus 2 plus 2. So that's my answer. Collect the like terms and order them from the highest exponent to the constant. Okay? Here, what do we have? We have also two factors, but as you see, the variables inside the factors are, uh, they have an exponent, okay? So it's easy for us. We add the exponent, so x to the power 3 times x is x to the power 4, and x to the power 3 times x squared is x to the power 5, because you add the exponent, and that's our answer. And you have to order them from the highest degree, or from the highest exponent till the um, constant, or like this. Okay? And now we have the x, y, also the same concept. We multiply them. After multiplying, you have to check if you have like terms. If you have like terms, just add them together or subtract, okay? Here, what do we have? In this uh, exercise, we need to verify the following equalities. Or in another word, I need to verify that x plus y into x plus y is the same as x plus y to the power 2. It's the same as x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. In order to verify those results, I have to do each one alone, find the answer, and then check if I have the same in every one. So I am going to split my work into three. The first one, I'm going to do x plus y into x plus y. In the second one, I'm going to do x plus y squared. And the third one, I'm going to, uh, it's already given, x squared plus 2x plus y squared. So no need to do anything with this. In the first one, I'm going to do the normal expanding, which is multiplying x by x and x by y, y by x and y by y. So we get x squared plus xy plus xy plus y squared. If you forget, to collect the like terms and you add, add them, you're not going to have x squared plus 2x plus y squared, which is the answer I'm willing to verify. Okay, good. So the first one, we got this answer. We need to do also the second one in order to check if it is also the same answer. Okay, this is from powers. You know, for example, if you have 2 to the power 2, it's 2 times 2. So here the same, when I say x plus y to the power 2, that means this term is multiplied by itself two times in this way. And also expand them, you are going to get this, collect the like terms and add them. And as you see, the results are verified because all of them, they gave me the same answer. So let us make a refresh. We learned something called expanding, and expanding is to get rid of the parentheses. How do we get that? How do we get rid? It's to multiply the parentheses by everything outside, and this uh, something it could be, as we said, a sign, a coefficient, a variable, a monomial, or binomial. Okay, that's it.